But anyway, as I said, this, this uh, recession has hit everywhere, and uh, it hits, um, it hits uh, the Dublin Corporation. At the end of the fiscal year, they found that they had really no money at all left to carry out any kind of a building programme, you see. But uh, they uh, felt that they should perhaps, you know, just to save face, advertise for something. They managed to scrape up £3,000. And they advertised for the smallest possible uh, public building they could think of, which was needless to say a public convenience. <laughs> and uh, they only got three replies. They got, one from, uh, they got one from a Dublin builder. He was the first man in and they said, uh, what's your bid? And he said, well, I'll tell you the truth, I wasn't going to bother. <laughs> I wasn't going to bother me eyes, now I'll tell you that. <laughs> and I know that's a crude expression, but in view of the nature of the building, he's have a mind, I think. <laughs> One. And I wasn't, but I tell you what I'll do, I'll open the grapevine, you have only £3,000 and I'll do it for the £3,000. And they said, well, what is the breakdown of the figures? Well, he said, it'll be £1,000 for labour, it'll be £1,000 for materials and it'll be £1,000 profit. I think that's a fair offer. You know, you wouldn't get much better. They said, all right, we'll let you know. So the second man was a cavern builder. And they said, and what's your bit? He said, oh, uh, £6,000. <laughs> He said, and what's the breakdown in that? Well, he said, there'd be £2,000 profit for a start, and uh, I think it's 2000 is it, labour or material, something like that. Anyway, it's £6,000 round figure, and if I wish you would grab it, you know, because like, it's a very good offer. That'll be gone up tomorrow, you everything's going up, but if I wish you would grab it, all right, we'll let you know. So the third man in was a builder from here, in Col. <laughs> and they said, and what's your bid? Whoa! <laughs> Nine thousand pounds. <laughs> And they said, and what's the breakdown in that? Uh, 3,000 for you. <laughs> 3,000 for me, and we give the job to the Dublin fella. <laughs> What I love about that story is that some people think it's a joke. <laughs> Let's keep them that way. Cheerio!